This is Joel here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Nathan Gorman over Zoom. You've had a massive fight announced yesterday with Fabio Wardley. It's been a long time coming, this fight, hasn't it? How are you now that it's finally here? Uh, really excited, mate. Um, it's been a long time coming. Obviously, it's my second crack now at the British title. Um, I've been in camp since, I'd say, June, July, something like that. Um, so I'm good to go. Um, obviously, I've only had one fight in 14 months or something like that, mm. or 16 months. But, you know, it's needless to me because at the end of the day, I've had 20 professional fights. I know what it's like to get in the ring. I've been doing tons and tons of sparring up and down. So, come what, 26th of November, it'll be the best Nathan Gorn what turns up. Do you feel as if the fact that you've been staying active, although you're not fighting, staying active with training and preparation, that will be a big factor? Yeah, I've never, I never, I never used to do it, but I always, at this time, I've known that in the back of my mind, this fight's lingering. So I've kept on top of things. Um, I've kept in the gym. I've kept up with my SNC. I've never had a break, really. That's I've, had like Reed, a week, isn't it? I've had a week off or something like that. So <laughs> nothing. That's Paul Reed, your SNC coach. He wouldn't let you out of the uh, the gym. I can imagine. <laughs> no, definitely not. Paul, Paul, me and obviously me and Paul, we train three three times a week together. Um, grueling, grueling sessions, but it only brings out the best in me. And obviously, he keep he keeps a, a firm firm hand on uh, everything. Yeah, now you mentioned this is obviously your second crack at a British title. This time around, you're coming in much more prepared because the first time you couldn't have been much worse prepared for that one. Oh, definitely. Um, like I said, come what, 26th of November, he will be fighting the best Nathan Gorman. I think that mentally and physically. Um, obviously, what happened in the past is an experience, a learning curve. It is what it mm. is. It was meant to be. Um, yeah. But I'm fully focused. and I'm, I, I really cannot wait until the fight night's here. Yeah, what did you learn from that Dubois fight? A lot of things. Um, I got cut, I obviously I got stopped, I got knocked down. Um, the old build-up scenario, big fight, big occasion, um, dealing with a defeat. Um, list should be, I learned how to listen to myself when things ain't right and things are not going, you know, right in camp and things like that. Instead of just accepting things and getting, trying to get on with it, doesn't work, not at that level. You've got to be 100% switched on. The British title is something that a lot of people want to win. You would have been asked this before in the fight with Daniel, but how much would it mean to, to get this around your waist? It means a lot, not just for me, for me, for me, I'm doing this for my family as well. Um, I want to win this belt. Um, like I said, it's my second chance right now, and I, I, I'm prepared to do what it takes to win it. Um, I think I will win it. Well, I know I'll win it. Um, I'm just prepared to take all to take take all the risk, you know, and walk through fire and win it. What do you make of Fabio as, as your opponent this time around? Really, really, listen, mate. They don't they don't hand out British title belts to fight for them <laughs> if you're no good. You know what I mean? You've yeah. got to be somewhat. I look at it this way: if you're a British heavyweight champion, you're on the verge, you're on the world scene, then. Yeah. So you got to be some some kind of good to box for a British title. Um, I've never. I've never seen a poor British champion, I'll be honest. So uh, <laughs> he's a good fighter, unbeaten, was he 15, 16, I know, or something like that. He's knocked everyone out but one. Mm -hmm. uh, never been past six rounds. What's not there, what's there not to like, you know? Does everything by the book, doesn't he? Yeah, this is a bit of a weird question. You haven't been in with Fabio yet, but in the build-up, do you believe... Who, who do you feel is a tougher test? Who's a tough test? Out, of, out of Dubois and, and Wardley, do you believe? Oh, the by Daniel, that mm -hmm. nine day. Okay, well, I'm looking nine, forward to nine, nine day. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing November twenty sixth. Obviously, it's on a good card as well. Dylan White. Yeah, definitely. The headline is Wembley Rings is going to be booming. Yeah, definitely, brother. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be um, a massive night. Obviously, Dillian White's on the card. Myself, myself and Fabio Wardley fighting for the British title. It's, um, it's going to be. Uh, there'll be. I'd imagine there'll be more fights announced as well. Yeah, of course. Now there always is. Um, I want to speak to you about Tyson's fight with uh, Chisora, the third one anyway. We saw the yeah. press conference a couple of days ago for the third time. Ticket sales, I think, did 50,000 in the first day. Uh, and that's going to be at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. What do you make of this fight? Obviously, the third time around we've seen it. Yeah, it's good to see. Um, listen, the thing is with um, Chisora, 
mm-hmm. whoever he fights, you know, where it says it says on the tin what he is when he wore, I mean, you know exactly what he brings he brings all the time. That's why he always gets the big fights because he's entertaining character. Obviously, Tyson Fury could sell out any arena if he if he fought me. Granny, he could you know what I mean sell out the arena. Mm-hmm. It's just he's a superstar, isn't he? But I can't see without being biased or horrible to Derek Brazor. I can't see him living with Tyson inside. I think Tyson inside five rounds. Tyson's what what's happened to Tyson is the older he's got, the better he's got. He's matured. He's got a lot stronger. He's at his right weight, nearly twenty stone. Mm. So he, he he's found where he where he's happy at. Yeah, for sure. What did you make of the backlash? Obviously, there's not a lot of people he could have fought, but people have found a way to kind of give give this a reason to be a good fight. Well, well, I think it's a good fight because. He could all right. Who else could he fight really? Kubrat Pulev. Trezorio's already just beat him. If he could have fought, who else could he fight? Let's think. Um, can't fight Joshua because obviously, apparently, he didn't want to sign the contract. Gusek is out till March. So who else is there? Joseph Parker's just box. Joe Joyce is just box. Who else is that next in the bo- in the the world the world rankings? But Derek Trezorio. So you know what I mean. It, I think that's the reason. Yeah. People can't say Tyson's ducking this and ducking that. He's boxed Vladimir Klitschko on his back arm. He went over to the States and boxed Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, he beat Wilder on his good day and, and on his worst day as well. Um, exactly, exactly. We, we, may, we may be seeing that for a fourth time. I'm not sure if you've seen Tyson mention that, but obviously yeah. he's got that reason. Uh, winner fights Tyson again. Yeah, exactly. I think he beats him every day of the week, I do. <laughs> well... Finally, I just want to end on your prediction for November 26th, Wembley Arena. How does this yeah. fight play out? Your second crack at a British title, Nathan? I think it's a Nathan Gorman win. Um, I'm working extremely hard to make everything possible so that I come victorious that night. Okay, well, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a good card, a good night. And uh, yeah, second time, lucky. We'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. It's going to be a good Definitely. one.